here, Coach Mel, coming to you live from Coach Mel's Group Fitness here in Harrington, Connecticut. I'm coming to you today with another 10-minute tidbit. So we followed a theme this week, which is we're giving you a little snippet of a class that's actually taught here at Coach Mel's. We are doing all of our classes virtual right now due to COVID-19, um, but this is a class that we would also do live here in studio, and hopefully we'll be opening soon and be able to invite people back in. So this class today is P90X Live. This is a Beachbody class. Now Beachbody recently has um, discontinued teaching or giving us any new classes um, bringing on any new instructions for we're going to do a lower body section we're going to do an upper body section and we're going to do a core section now again i'm just giving you a tiny little piece of this um, this would we would do much more we would go on longer obviously it is a 45 minute class that we do um, here at the studio or on our virtual classes um, I'm gonna have a timer for part of it. We're gonna count reps for part of it. That's the other nice thing about these programs is that each month, um, it's different. It's different moves, it's different um, structure as far as how long you do things. Maybe sometimes you're counting reps, sometimes you're doing it for time. Um, you know, sometimes you're doing Tabata style, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So it's always changing. I personally own about 26 different workouts from P90X. So you need to come uh, here for about two years before you would see a repeat of a program that you've been doing before. So with that being said, I'm going to get started on this. We are going to do a little bit of a warm up first, like always, because we are going to do some strength training. Now I do have weights. Um, it definitely brings another element to the workout if you use weights, but you can do this without weights as well, and I will discuss that as we go through it, okay? So let's get started with a little warm-up. I always like to start with a little jog. <clears throat> get your body warmed up. Get that blood flowing. Good. And let's throw in some jumping jacks here. As always, you can do this as a step out. If you don't want the impact, that's fine too. Good. Let's bring those feet out nice and wide. We're going to come over with a little pulse. Good. All right. We're going to reach across. Reach. Get that nice rotation in the spine, warming it up. All right, with a little squat, let's bring it up and pull down. Bring it up, pull down. Get that squat in there, get those legs ready because the first thing we're going to be doing is squatting. And last one. All right, so I'm going to bring you through the moves that we're going to do in this first section, which is our lower body section. You're going to start, if you're using weights, you're going to hold one weight in the middle. So we're going to do a goblet squat, which means our feet are going to be out a little bit wider than a normal squat, and my toes are pointing out just a little bit, and we're going to sink down nice and low. I like to try to get my elbows down to my knees on that squat. We're going to do that for one minute. We're then going to put that weight down and we're going to go into a nice little squat hop. Now again, if you don't want impact, you can just come up on your toes on that. You do not have to come off the floor. And then, that's for 30 seconds, and then we're just going to sit in a squat hold for the last 15 seconds. We'll take a little break and we'll do that again. Now that's not how a normal class would be. We do a different routine and go back and forth, but because I'm doing a condensed version here. We're just going to repeat that twice. Then we'll take a break and work on upper body. So let me get this timer going. If you're using weights, you're going to grab one weight. Remember, your feet are out just a little bit wider than a normal squat, and your toes are out a little bit. Not as much as you would in a sumo squat. This is a goblet squat. We're holding that one weight in the middle, and we're going to squat here, 
sinking down and pushing up. Get nice and deep into that. We're gonna stay here for a whole minute. You wanna push up, I'm gonna show you from the side too. Sink down and bring it up. Push up through those heels, keeping your shoulders up, nice and tall. Sink into that and push up. And keep that going. Exhale on the up. Good, good, good. All right, we're gonna put that weight down. We're gonna go into our jump squat, right here. So land, toe ball, heel, toe ball, heel. Good. Now you can do either your arms up and that, or you can go the reverse, which is jump with those arms coming down. Either way is fine. Three, two, and one, we're gonna sink right into that squat. Hold that, stay there, catch your breath. Woo! Keep it going, keep it going. Four, three, two, one, yowza. All right, go ahead and rest those legs for a second. My timer's playing some games on me here, so I'm gonna make sure that I get that. So we're taking a little break right now, because we gotta do that again. All right, I'm just letting my timer get to the right spot for me here. All right, so we're gonna take another little 10 second break here and we're gonna start over with those goblet squats. So go ahead and grab your weight, grab a drink if you need it. Woo, there was some light burn there. All right, we gotta do this again. So let's start with those goblet squats. Here we go. Sink it down, push it up. You don't have to go fast. I want you to think more about the muscles that you're using, having good form, sitting yourself down, into the heels, pushing yourself up, through, and get a squeeze at the top. I always say in my class, I want quality over quantity on these moves. So I want you to really focus on using the muscles you're supposed to be using, squeezing them as you go through this movement. It's not about going fast in this one. Cardio class is where we go fast. Not this one. 10 more seconds here. Big exhale on the up. And three, two, and one. Go ahead and put that weight down. We're gonna do those squat jumps for 30 seconds. Going right into it. Now again, you don't have to jump. You can come up on the toes. Believe me, you will feel that in the quads as well. If you are jumping, come down nice and soft, soft feet. Don't stop. Bring yourself right down. 10 more seconds here. And then we're gonna have that 15 second hold Toe ball heel, coming down on that jump. Two and one, quick little shake out. All right, here we go. Sink down into that hold. 15 seconds right here. All the weight is back in your heels. Butt back. Breathe through it. Sink down as much as you can. Woo! Yep, this burns. Two, one, and rest. All right, shake that off. All right, I'm gonna stop the timer because we're gonna go to upper body. We're not gonna use the timer for upper body, all right? So we're gonna start by coming down on the floor and we're gonna do a chest fly. So you're gonna bring yourself on the floor, low back press into the mat, knees are bent, arms are out nice and wide, and you're coming up the top like you're hugging a tree, bringing those up, all right? Second move, we'll come up on our knees for it. We're going to do an overhead tricep extension. So weights are up, and we're going to push up. We're going to be counting reps this time, so we'll be doing 10 reps on that. Then we're going to do what's called a shoulder complex. So we're going to go out, together, and down. Up, out, and down. Each one of those counts as one, not two for one. And last but not least, bent over, wide rows. 
Again, you can do all of these without weights. Just squeezing the muscles as you're going through the motions. All right, let's start down on the floor. We're gonna start with those chest flies. Go ahead and push your belly button into your spine, which puts your spine into the mat. Come on nice and wide. Big exhale for one. Come out, don't let those elbows touch. Two, make sure that back stays pressed into the mat. Three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze in the chest, eight, nine, it's the outermost part of the chest that you're working here, 10. All right, go ahead and come on up onto your knees. You can do this standing as well. Being on your knees sometimes helps keep your back in a better position. All right, we're gonna take those weights, we're gonna lift them up overhead. Now you can leave them separated or you can put them together. Keep those elbows in tight, press up for one. Squeezing that back part of the arm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. All right, shoulder complex is next. So, bringing those weights out to the side, standing nice and tall, shoulders are down away from the ears, abs pulled in, we're bringing them up, shoulder height, forward and down. That's one, up, out, and down for two. Up, together, nice and controlled, that's three. Remember, quality over quantity, that's four. And down for five. And that's six. Seven. Nice and controlled. That down shouldn't just drop. You're controlling those weights. That's eight. Last two. Nine. There's ten. All right. Little five second break here. We're going to go into those bent over wide rows. Feet are under the hips. Little bend in the knees, little hinge forward. If you look down, your shoulders should be out over your toes. Weights are coming out in front, about a 45 degree angle. Nice straight back line here. And then we're going to break up and out. One. Bring this through the center of your back. Two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Squeeze in. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, ten. All right. So we're done with that upper body section. We're going to need one weight if you're using weights for lower, or for core. Sorry, core is last. So we have two moves that we're going to do. We're going to do 45 seconds of one move, 45 seconds of the second move. We'll take a small break, and we will do it again, and then we'll be done. So. First one is a standing single leg hinge. So you want to make yourself nice and tall, arms up over your shoulders. You're going to hinge forward, letting that foot float back behind you. Stand back up. Try to stay in control. Balance is very much driven by your core. Keep a slight bend in that leg that's holding you. Okay, so that's our first move. Second move is a weighted bicycle. So think of it as a Russian twist, if you've heard of the Russian twist with the bicycling of the legs at the same time. So you're gonna hinge back a little bit in that C spine curve, and then as you pull that weight over to the side, you're pulling that knee in, and then pushing out, in and out. Okay, a little twist, pushing that out. Now if you need to, you can keep one heel on the floor, bring that heel down, and bring that up, and then work your way up to being able to keep them off of the floor. All right, so we have 45 seconds each move, back to back, and then we will do it the second time. 
All right, so we're going to start with that hinge. Really focus on moving nice and slow and keeping your balance. And you're alternating the leg that you lift and the leg that you're standing on each time. Hinge and up. Hinge and up. Good. Slight bend in that knee. Hinging and coming up. We have 20 more seconds here. Try to keep those arms up and as straight as you can. Back is nice and flat as you come forward. 10 more seconds here. Four, three, get one more in, two, and one. All right, coming down, grabbing that weight if you're using it. Don't need it though, you can just go side to side with your hands. We're doing a little rotation. I'm going to show you this angle too. A little rotation. I like to come down to a 90 degree angle with my arm so that I get a little bicep work there. As I'm kicking those legs out, you can tap that heel down if you need to. You're going to the side where that leg is coming in. Or kick that leg straight out there. Kick that heel out. Leaning back. Woo, feeling that burn. And we got three, two, one, and resting. All right. We're going to take a little 15 second break here or longer because my timer just decided that it was done working. That's all right. We'll get ourselves back to where we need to be. All right. We're going to do that single leg. Hinge. So getting ourselves up nice and tall. Arms are going to be up overhead. One side and then the other, hinging forward. Here we go. Single leg hinge cycle one. Hinge. And then bring it back up. Try to keep that toe facing down towards the floor in back there. Think about pinky toe down. That'll help you turn that big toe in a little bit. Keep yourself in a nice alignment. Slight bend in the leg that's holding you. You should feel a little bit in that hamstring. Keeping the abs nice and tight for flat back. And up. Hinge. And up. A couple more here. And three. Two. Last one. All right, we're coming down to the floor. Going back into that weighted bicycle, hinge back a little bit, legs out, twist it to the side where the knee is coming in. Remember, this is not a cardio section. This is about the core. We're working the abs here. So nice and controlled. Does not have to be fast. Woo! All right. We got 20 more seconds here. All right, last 12. Woo! Feel that burn. And three, two, last one. Ugh. All right, we're gonna stay down here. We're gonna do a couple of quick stretches. So. We always start with a warm up and finish with a stretch. Any of our classes here at Coach Mel's, like I told you, that was just a tiny little piece. There's much more to that workout, more in each section um, that we would do in that 45 minute class. So let's start going into that nice child's pose. So sink back in your heels, reach your arms out, take a couple of deep breaths. As you exhale, try to reach those arms out just a little bit further. Get that nice stretch. All right, let's bring everything forward. And I'm not holding these stretches for a very long time. You can do them for longer, whatever feels good. I'm going to arch that back. Feel the stretch up the front of the abdomen. All right, come on up. 
We're going to come onto one knee. Go ahead and hinge forward into that knee. Get that hip flexor stretched. <clears throat> Good. Right from that position, you're going to take a hand, put it down opposite of that front foot, and now reach up, turn, and look up towards your finger. Get a nice thoracic spine. Twist, stretch there, hold it. Come back down, go ahead and hinge back. So toe is up, heel is down, and then do a little bend forward. You should feel that all the way up the back of your leg. Let's do that same thing on the other side. Hinge forward first, hip flexor stretch. You're going to put that hand down opposite that front foot, rotate, reaching up to the ceiling, and then looking up towards your hand and hold it there. Bring it back down. Hinge back on that heel, toe is up, and then nice little hinge forward, head down. You'll feel that in the back of your leg. All right, let's bring one arm across the chest to get that shoulder. Those shoulder complexes, those are tough moves. Bring it across the other side. Hold it there. And let's bring it up over the top for that tricep stretch. Other side, give a little tug, reaching down for the center of your back. And that is the end of our P90X Live 10 minute tidbit. So thank you so much for joining me. If you want to know more information about the classes that are held live or virtual right now at Coach Mills, please go, please go to coachmills.com. I will put the link in the description. If you want to get in touch with me, you can email me through my website or at mel at coachmels.com. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, please hit the little button over there where my logo is and you can subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell and that will tell you every time I put a new video up. Um, also, Beachbody, I am a Beachbody coach. I have been since 2015. Beachbody does have a program called Beachbody On Demand which is where you can get to all of the programs that they have to offer. I will put that link in the description as well. Um, it literally gives you thousands of workouts. Um, there's a small subscription fee for that. If you use the link that I provide you, yes, I will get a small commission. Uh, but it's a great way to have workouts on the go, to have a wide variety um, and especially if, you know, if you're going to be traveling or in this quarantine situation, if you can't get to your gym, it's a great way to get your workouts in. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again real soon. Have a great day.